Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Cubic Meter's Melon Remake. Yes, we played the one by Alfie5 earlier, and now we're going to play the remake by Alphamelon, aka Conclan. And lately, I'm not sure why, but they've been putting a TM in their name everywhere. Not entirely sure why. Anyway, this is a remake of Alfie5's Cubic Meters, which you should check out before- sorry, check out first before playing this map. This map is a medium to hard difficulty cube flinging map. Also, seeing how they are all the rage these days, this map includes an optional companion cube. Enjoy this test. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll try and remember to get it this time. Let's see. To start preparing for human testing again, I checked an old suggestion box. The number one request? Less deadly tests. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Alright, I can- I can stand for one GLaDOS quote, but not two. Anyway, uh, something I do want to point out is that I actually didn't really enjoy cubic meters that much. Like, even in the description I said it was good, I guess. Like, I'm not really sure why everybody enjoys it so much, it's not really my type of puzzle, I guess. Alright, so I guess we just use the ceiling to create a runway for ourselves. That's interesting, why does portal surface go all the way to the fizzler? Huh. We jump across, push the button, get the cube, go back over here, push the cube on the button, and then we can use the gel on this side for the same purpose. Da -da 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 -da. Got some nice mill music in the background. Alright, I think that's enough gel. And so now, just do that. Does it auto respawn? I don't think it does, right? Yeah, I think we have to do it manually. Oh right, I need to get some gel over here so I can get to the button time. That's probably important. Well, oh, actually, it doesn't get close enough to the button. All right, we can we can probably still make it though. There we go. That definitely made it. And then we save and continue. Oh, almost didn't make that. That was close. So yeah, that's just basically a remake of Alf's original puzzle. I wonder what's going to be different in here. Oh, now this is different. Okay. What do we have here? Oh, it's a little... it's a little cube cleaning area. That is weird looking. That's like... that looks like... black... evil gunk or something. <laughs> Alright. Let's get ourselves this cube. Laser cube acquired. Oh, actually, I don't even think we needed it right now. That's fine. Let's make ourselves this runway. Alright. Save, and continue. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> that is certainly one way, I guess. We actually made it that time. This gets us the regular cube. Oh, no, it's an edgeless safety cube. Interesting. Alright, well, let's get some gel over here, I guess. Looks like, uh, streaks are enabled, so that's good. We get plenty of gel with streaks enabled. Heh, <laughs> even the laser catcher is colored orange now. Alright. So now, let's investigate up here and see what we're gonna have to do around here later. It's interesting that we can just walk right up here this time. What does this do? What? Strange. Okay, I guess this- I guess this will make more sense later... perhaps? Cause right now it's not making too much sense. That's death. This is a laser, and that's an angle panel. And this is where we want the edge of the safety cube. Alright. Alright, well let's- let's work on, first of all... getting the laser over. Actually, wait, what does... Where is all this stuff? I don't see where all this signage is coming from. Triangle... Where would triangle even be? There's no button over there. Oh, I guess that's a button. I didn't even notice that. Well, okay then. Oh, 
I'll investigate that. We can swap out the edge of the safety cube with the laser cube, I suppose. There we go. Put that there, and let's just get a new one. For cleanliness sake. Ta-da! Save and continue. Let's put this guy right about there -ish. Interesting, that's not even an actual button, that's just... That's just... a, uh... a zone... with some blocks around it. Okay, there's the signage that I was confused about. What the heck? This actually has some thickness to it? I didn't realize that. Okay then. So now... We can't actually get any gel here, but we could get the laser cube in there. Oh, what? I see. Okay, so that's to stop the laser cube from running into the fizzler. That's really nice. I like that. Okay, no point in putting any portals over there. Yep. Alright. Let's just push this button and hope for the best. Yep, that was quite a toss. Now let's actually... We have to take this off of here first, I think, actually. I guess we could also push the button through the field, but I think that's technically not supposed to be possible, because if you think about it, that field, that orange field, blocks player movement, and so that would be like sticking your arm through the field to push the button, which doesn't make much sense, realistically. And then... I guess we can just leave this over here. Wow, it, it even bounced a few times and it still landed there just fine. Yeah, we'll just leave it over here for now. We can always recall it on this side if we want to. I wonder what we're gonna use this for. So let's first deal with this. There we go. If we head down here... Should- whoops. Should be able to do this. Yeah, there we go. Oh, but that's only... How do we turn off this fizzler, then? Huh. How do... Does this even have any signage on it, or does this just never turn off? Because if this never turns off, we're gonna have to do some complicated stuff that I don't fully understand at this moment in time. I mean, I guess we could put the edge of the safety cube here. But then... Then how would we... Let's just try it. Let's put the edge of the safety cube here. Hey, I even got it to not roll. Nice. Oh, I didn't jump in time. That's fine. But there is a way you can make that turn and jump real quickly like that. It is possible. I've done it before. It's just a bit tricky. Oh, and we lost the mail music. Ah, and I bumped- I bumped the stupid ball, trying to... hit my hotkey to make the music play again. There we go. Oh, come on! It just started rolling on its own, I didn't bump it. What was the point of quick saving with it not moving if it was just gonna move after the quick save? There we go. Take that. <laughs> and no Rector Rocks, I am not referencing the band or any of your maps. There we go. Now I'm over here. Alright, so technically, theoretically, I should be able to do this. Yeah, there we go. Now what? <laughs> now what? Uh, hmm. Hmm. 
Good question. Ooh. That's what the angle panel is for. Alright. So I guess now we would put the laser cube here, and then we would just take the edge of the safety cube up this way. Yeah, that would totally work. Alright. I was massively overcomplicating things in my head, as per usual. So now... What do we want to do first? We don't need the laser cube there anymore, so might as well just... Might as well just, you know, recall it. And put it... here. Yeah, that works. And now we can get up there whenever we want. The question is getting the edge of the safe. Actually, we'll want to move this guy and take him... Take him across the gap first. And then we can always recall him afterwards. Oh, once again, I didn't make the jump. Let's try that again. I don't want to have to go through a loading screen just for that. There we go. Always faster to no-clip than to sit through a loading screen. Let's see here. There we go. Almost didn't make it. Put that there. Recall this. There we go. Put that there, put that there. Put this here my hands, and, uh, still not gonna move my portals yet, just because. There we go. Now, the optional companion cube. Well, would you look at that? What is the best way to get back at this point? Probably like that, right? Alright, let's see here. Hello! Oh goodness! What have I gotten myself into here? Hang on, let me- let me just, uh... Let me just grab this real quick. I'm pretty sure we gotta leave the edge of the safety cube there, but I'm pretty sure we can also take this with us. Yeah, there we go. I guess we just gotta go start off by pushing this. I'm guessing this- yes, this is the optional companion cube. In its blood. Alright, so now we go over and move this guy, right here. Take this guy back off the button. Put this guy- oops. Move him between these two fizzlers. Put this back on the button. And then we swap them. And then we can always recall the laser cube afterwards. We hold this guy the proper way. Put him there. Take this off. Move him over here. Put this guy back on. Man, what a convoluted process just to get the optional companion cube out. Alright. Now. Save. And continue. Oh, whoop, uh, eh, eh, careful. I'm gonna have to reorient this guy now, anyway. Uh... Whatever, I'll figure it out. We'll do this side first. And, yep, that's everything. Alright, so now... Give me this. Da 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 da! Put that there. And we are good to go. Ta-da! Optical Companion Cube acquired. Well, guys, as always... Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!